Well, hey there, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Dana here. Welcome to the channel. Hopefully, welcome back to the channel. Uh, if you're new here, I'm a full time reseller and I sell things on eBay and Amazon. And I have got 45 orders going out as of right now. It is Sunday afternoon. I'm going to shoot a what sold and show you some stuff today. And then I'm going to pack some more tomorrow just because there's so friggin' much to do. Um, I figured I would show it on a video. Haven't done a what sold in a while. I've been doing a lot of sourcing videos. So if you enjoy those, go check those out. But let's take a look at what sold. Anyways, uh, let's start over here with all this Mary Kay stuff. I paid a dollar a piece at a yard sale for all those. There's night cream, cleanser, cleanser, night cream, night cream, Mary Kay hydrator. Anyways, $160 is what I sold the combined lot of those for. This is one buyer, one buyer, one buyer, one buyer. So one buyer bought two. Uh, these are all one individual for the other ones, but $160 in total sales. And I paid a buck a piece for those, so very happy with that. So the thermostat paid uh, $12.99 at Ace Hardware for that on clearance. It's brand new, and I sold it for $80. So uh, awesome flip there. This is an empty case. Uh, it sold for $15. I paid maybe $0.50 cents for that at a yard sale. Um, oh, man. If I can open this one-handed. There it goes. So this Olympus camera, it is in XA2 Olympus, and uh, it's a little slide thing right here. I'm gonna mess it up, so I'll close it. Anyways, I uh, paid a dollar for this at a yard sale, believe it or not, and uh, this sold for $180. Yes, $180. So look out for Olympus cameras, because that one's freaking awesome. Anyways, uh, I sold this Pathwords. I paid $2, I think, for this at a yard sale. Pathwords sold for $25. Bucks. Sold this hat right here. I have $0.75 cents a piece into these. I've got a ton of these Napa hats. I got them at a yard sale. That sold for $17. This little go-kart, I paid $0.50 cents for this, maybe even a quarter. Uh, it's nothing fancy, but it sold for $10. Bucks. Sold this Remington shaver. I paid $10 for this at Walgreens on clearance and it sold for $30, so easy little flip. I sold Yuri the Yeti Squishmallow for $40. I paid $2.99 for this at Salvation Army. I got a whole bunch of these, and uh, we'll see, we'll talk for a second on this. So, try and get my lighting better. Is it better this way? I don't know. Anyways, so what I did at first, I listed the 10 of them, or nine of them, however many I got, and they were getting a ton of watchers, but I wasn't getting a ton of sales. And I figured it was because they saw that there was 10 available and they were like, ah, there's no urgency to buy them. So I dropped the quantity down to two and I sold one like that. Uh, and then I raised it back to two and I sold another one like that. And then I raised it back to two and I sold another one. So that's what I'm gonna keep doing is leaving it at two quantity until I end up selling out of them. So just a tip, uh, if it's something that's rare, which this is a really rare thing, it's kind of weird if you have 10 of them. So just listed, put it back to two anyways. Um, I sold these all different. These were $44.98 a piece for these. So five boxes, one buyer bought two, and then I sold three individual ones. So the Rookies and Stars cars uh, sold for $224.95 total. I had a buyer buy these four boxes of Illusions uh, cards, and uh, these sold for $185. I sold a two pack of filters. These were $2 a piece at Ace Hardware on clearance. Uh, and I that was a great multi-quantity listing too. I got 12 of them, I think. These are the last two. I've already sold the other ones, but I haven't been showing them on what sold videos. But $2 into 30 bucks. So 30 bucks is what I got for those, 15 a piece. Which at 15, to pay $2 and sell it for 15 would not be worth it. But to get them in lots of two and pay $4 and sell it for $30, that's worth it. So sometimes you got to play with the bundle a little bit. I had one buyer buy four of them. Uh, and so I got $60. And that was, again, the shipping was basically the same. That's first class shipping uh, for the two of them. So happy with that. So this uh, reel, this was in uh, the... Uh, she made me scream or she had me screaming at this yard sale sold for $53 plus shipping I sold a Disney snow globe I'm not gonna break it out maybe I'll put it up on the screen for you guys right here but this sold for $100 plus shipping Sold these tights I have about a quarter into those from grab bags at Goodwill and that sold for 20 bucks I sold some mosaic 
uh, little what are these I forget what they call them cellos uh, cellos cellos anyways these sold for uh, sixty two dollars for the three of those and then I sold two comics they are the uh, Silver Surfer Virgin Variant Edition. And uh, there's two of them in here. I'll have to separate them out before I send them out to the buyer. Uh, but these sold for 65 bucks a piece on those. So anyways, oh, I have one more thing. That was, so round number one. Uh, this is a personal deal. I'll have to put this up on the screen too. These are some Supreme uh, Dunks. And these are going to a friend, a member of uh, Bread and Butter Cook Group. And uh, he's going to get these for personal use. So uh, shout out Prince James on that. So I'm going to get this stuff packed up. And you'll probably see me tomorrow for round number two of this wet sold. All right, welcome back. Round one is all packed down there and over there. So let's show you round two of three or four uh, that sold. So let's take a look. Uh, let's see this Rockenbach thing. Uh, I got this at Goodwill with a whole bunch of Rockenbach. I sold two different things. This was a kit and this one was the vehicle. Uh, the vehicle sold for $27. It's a little uh, transport thing. There's a little receiver that goes here. Anyways, 27 bucks. This one sold for 27 bucks as well. The NASA thing sold for $38. It's a kit of the space shuttle and uh, it's open box, but it is brand new, never done. Uh, I sold a Craftsman drill. I paid $20 for this at an estate sale and I sold that for uh, $68 uh, on that. 25 bucks for dancing, or sorry, $20 for the dancing hamster and uh, sings to uh, Rockefeller skank. Um, so I danced to Rockefeller Skank. Anyways, uh, this is a VHS. This is World War II campaigns in Europe and a brand new sealed, not worth a ton. I paid a dollar for it and I sold it for 15. Uh, I paid a dollar for this at Goodwill and I sold it for $16. It is a Kenworth hat. I got two of these at the same time. It was a multi-quantity listing, which is great. Sold this uh, Jim Kelly. Uh, his nephew or whatever, Chad Kelly, would played for the Broncos for a little bit, but then he got cut for getting uh, drunk and high and getting on some random person's couch in Colorado. So anyways, fun fact on that. Anyways, this sold for $10 and I have a quarter into that. These were just kind of fillers. I listed a whole bunch because I got some, uh, there was Michael Jordans and stuff in there. And those ones sold for like 50 or $60, a couple of them. And there were some fillers in there that were selling for like 10 bucks. So eh, was it worth listing it for 10? Probably not. But it was a filler item that keeps the store churning and the algorithm going. So did it. So this Hamilton Beach bread maker uh, for $50. Paid five bucks for this at a yard sale and uh, 50 bucks. And it's like brand new. You can see the pan and paddle and everything. Uh, I probably should have just sold the pan and paddle for like $30 and thrown the uh, machine away. But what do I know? Uh, I also sold two of these Encanto kits. This thing is huge. There's my leg for scale. I know that probably didn't really work, but uh, it's huge and it's heavy and it sold for $140. So two of those sold for $140. The other one's on the outside of my office because I don't really have enough room after all these packages and stuff are in here. Uh, so I got to get it packed and then I'm going to have to put some stuff outside so I bring in the next round. And then I sold this Golf Swing Key and it's a really long thing that just aids your uh, golf swing and it's the Golfer's Toolbox Swing Key. It sold for $72 and uh, it's incomplete. My wall fell apart the other day. Uh, I don't know what happened, but all my toys and stuff that are on that wall just kind of like fell down. So uh, it looks like a mess over there and it is a mess because I'm a mess. Let's go to round three. All right, part three and probably the last part, we'll see. Uh, as of right now, this will be everything. So uh, I saved the biggest stuff for last. Uh, I sold another one of these guys. I uh, double checked it and I actually went down to zero listed. Uh, so I put it back to two and that one sold for $50 immediately. So $2.99 into 50 bucks. 
awesome. Uh, I got these on retail arbitrage for nine bucks a piece at Lowe's probably three months ago, and they just sold for 50 bucks a piece. So $100 on the pair there. I sold a Wii set. Uh, it's got two remotes, the nunchucks, the system, etc. I took a best offer of 75 bucks. I've had it listed at $100 for like four or five months, and uh, that's the first offer I got. He offered 50. I countered with 79.99. They countered with 75, and I took it. Uh, I just picked these up in the most recent uh, yard sale. I think it was my most recent yard sale video. Maybe it was. No, it's two videos ago. Well, it'll be three videos by the time this one comes out uh, where I got this uh, and I paid, hmm, it was, I paid $100 for everything, I believe. So 50 bucks, basically. Uh, there's a loose piece in here. I got to tuck that away so it doesn't jangle around everywhere. Uh, anyways, so this sold for $100 uh, plus shipping. So $100 plus $20 in shipping. And there's one more of these in a uh, drawer that I've got to pull out that's going to go with it. Um, but that is that. These are there. It's a drum microphone kit. So there's these microphones here, these microphones here, and it goes, I guess, inside the drum. And uh, yeah, I saw this PS4. This was $2.99 uh, at GameStop, I think. Uh, and I sold it for $500 on Amazon. And then I sold two PS5s. And uh, I sold this one for $7.99 plus shipping uh, on eBay. And then I sold this one to another reseller who is going to use it as, I don't know if he's gonna auction it or give it away on whatnot. And uh, I don't know if I want to tell you. Well, maybe I don't know. I don't know if I should tell you how much I paid or he paid for that. So look out for another reseller that's going to uh, do a PS5 on uh, whatnot. And you know where it came from. This guy right here. And uh, I made him a deal. I'll put it that way. Not a smoking deal, but I made him a deal. Uh, so direct sale on that one. So anyways, uh, thank you for watching. And uh, if there is a part four, then you'll see that in just a second and I'll cut to it now. All right. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, I wasn't sure if I was going to pop anything else in. So I'm just going to kind of really quick throw this in there. I sold about another $300 worth of stuff on Amazon. I went ahead and just packed it because uh, I didn't feel like filming for that at that time. Um, but I did want to pop in and just thank you for watching my videos. You guys are the best. Uh, they've been going up and down. I haven't shot a what sold in a while because they weren't getting a lot of views. So if you enjoyed this what sold, I really would been, uh, appreciate, I would appreciate uh, if you thumbs up the video and drop a comment. Any comment, whatever the comment is, means a lot to YouTube for some reason. Uh, to promote this video to other people. So if you enjoyed the video, uh, thumbs up, drop a comment. If you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. And uh, just for fun, this is gonna be part of the uh, thumbnail. That's it all packed once it's all done. And uh, hopefully this is a fun one. I sold some crazy things after, uh, but yeah. Check my Instagram, because I posted most of them there. Anyways, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Happy sales. Hey, don't forget to check out the links down in the comment, or uh, comments, description. Man, I'm off my game. Anyways, have a great day.